All right, welcome. So this is my first live Q&A that's um, basically replacing my free consults because I just couldn't keep up. And um, I wanted to be able to give you guys as much information as I could. And a lot of the questions that I get asked are typically the same ones. So I figured let's do it in this format. Um, I will be posting this to YouTube for others to see. So like I said, just use the chat box if you wanna stay private or if you wanna ask me in person, then um, you know, you'll show up on the recording. So um, it's a time for you to basically either ask anything about what I do or um, brain retraining in general, uh, getting guidance on where to even go with chronic illness, chronic trauma patterns, chronic stress. And um, I have my, I've dabbled in lots of different um, modalities and disciplines. So hopefully I can help direct people to the appropriate place. So I'm just going to open it up for questions and you can either ask in the chat box or raise your hand um, and I will call on you. So who has a question? Hi, uh, Kat, Dr. Kat. I'm I'm actually doing a retraining. I'm it's it's real hard because I'm um what's the question? I'm hard for me to get motivated and hard for me to do what I'm doing on my retraining and just and I I have a lot of trauma. There's a big, big trauma history and there's a big that sense of self is very distorted. <laughs> it's stopped. So that's why I'm here because I think it's so much deeper than shifting the emotions for me. Um, and so but that's what I wanted to learn more about your primal trust program, because I, I, I am doing EMDR also. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sort through things, you know, and just trying to get things in order, but getting the motivation for doing my rounds and, and is, is, been so difficult like my limbic system just doesn't go there and I kind of I don't know if anyone else I think that might be a common thing for people um but anyway just wanted to get a little bit of input on your end uh or anyone else's of how to help I'm, I'm kind of new to it so I've been doing it maybe a little over a month or so consistently what brain retraining program are you using I'm doing brain? DNRS DNRS okay mm -hmm. all right so yeah, we'll talk a little bit about the motivation piece and then that lack of self and the trauma history piece. They definitely can go together. So okay. um, I'll talk about the, the lack, the trauma and the lack of self piece first. So my program was developed based on my own experience of doing many different modalities, many different neuroplasticity tools, uh, somatic tools, shamanic tools, energy tools, nutritional tool. I did, I did it all over many, many, many years. And I found that I had a hard time um, putting it all together and helping to actually get traction to get out of my situation. Over the years, I realized that because of having a pretty significant trauma history, I didn't have a strong sense of self, as you just said. So there wasn't a self that I was rewiring into. There wasn't a self that I was um, I was, I was, um, I was returning to, there wasn't really a strong sense of self or I call an adult main personality in my work that was created. And I did a lot of research in different programs that deal with trauma and what's known as parts work. And I saw that there was a correlation between the different programs and they all worked on developing something known as a healthy adult concept. And so I was like, ah, oh, I thought I had a healthy adult concept, but I didn't. I had a go-getter part that, you know, trailblazed her way into life and really was a part of me that was in perfectionism, workaholic, et cetera. It wasn't a healthy adult personality. And if you don't have a strong sense of self, it's hard to get a coherent brain state to um, rewire into and to get out into the world and function properly. What I started to notice is that some people do brain retraining programs and they do really well. They're the people who it might take them four months, six months, a year. They retrain their brain back into a, a strong sense of self that they already had maybe, or they just further developed one. 
and their brain state, um, you know, became managed more by a, with a prefrontal uh, influence versus just the brainstem of fight or flight. And they were able to get out into light. And then there are those that, that just doesn't happen. They have different sabotage patterns. Um, like you're experiencing just that lack of motivation, or you start to make some gains and then all of a sudden it just slips away and you don't understand. And to me, that means that there's a brain state that isn't holding a healthy inner adult concept that isn't firing in a consistent pattern to run your autonomic nervous system to, um, to get you back into life. So I went on a journey to create the primal trust mentorship, primal trust, meaning this inherent sense of I am okay. I am okay. I, uh, and, and even figure out what that I is and what do I love? What do I, what are my values? Because I had no idea. And so that put me on that journey. We can talk a little bit more about that later, but let me now move into that lack of motivation. So we all have different identity structures, okay? Our identity structures or ego states are meant to preserve themselves. They are not meant to change. And so if you have historically been someone who has had nervous system dysregulation, hypersensitivity, trauma responses, maybe depression, anxiety, et cetera, that particular ego state or identity state isn't interested in creating happy joy, et cetera. It's interested in preservation. And it just means that that particular identity state is dominating your will, dominating your pattern. And you haven't developed enough sense of self outside of that identity state that says that chooses differently. So your ability to choose is, um, is decreased right now because the chooser is mostly the identity state of I'm used to feeling like crap. And even though my body doesn't feel good, it's familiar. So you have to develop a part of you that can choose differently. And that's really the work that I do is to really help people who didn't have a strong chooser self to, um, it, to be created, engage, and then be the one to choose how they're going to rewire. So that's that answer. That, that's part of the, prim that's the primal, tr in the primal trust yeah. mentorship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's more of that advanced journey because it's, it's an identity reforming journey. You know, it's not the tool. So I have creating calm, right. uh, that course. That is a bunch of self-regulation tools and a brain retraining program. It's vagus nerve tools, somatic tools, energy medicine tools. It's a toolkit and it's a great toolkit. And we all need a toolkit, whether you do have a strong sense of self and you're just retraining your brain or you never created, you never did have a strong sense of self and you need to retrain your brain, need the toolkit to start with. Now, many people can take those tools and learn how to apply them and learn how to use them in a particular algorithm that I teach and they get back out and they're great. And then there are some that there just isn't a strong personality to choose to do them in a regular way. And that's where they may need to go on a, another part of the journey, which is reclaiming themselves or even discovering themselves and to carve um, neural pathways that may have never been there in the first place. And so that's a bit of a longer journey. And that's what Primal Trust is for. And that's okay for someone that's not like, that's pretty new into brain retraining and stuff. As long as you're willing to, you know, a lot of people that are new into brain retraining, um, a lot of techniques are, uh, we're just going to turn on the happy hormones and, and, and we're going to do that. And that's a great stage. Now, at some point, everyone, I believe, needs to be able to be in their body and feel their feelings. And the deal is that some people are just capable of doing that easier than others. But primal trust is this choice of like, okay, I'm going to feel my body and brain retrain at the same time. And maybe there is a particular period of time where you choose to just keep things happy and positive, but then there's a time where life is, it, it's got positive and negative. And to be a fully embodied human with full recovery requires you to be able to be in the body and feel your feelings. And that is a big jump for people, but it's worth it. And many people that have taken the primal trust or have done this deeper somatic work they can testify to that, that, you know, brain retraining has a particular purpose of calming down a limbic response. And that is an important stage. It's a stage. It is not a lifestyle. That is key. It's a stage. It's not a lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. 
So um, I'm going to look at some more very good questions. So hopefully that answered them or got them. Okay. Uh, the next question was, do I work with people with POTS? Yep, I specifically had that. It was one of my biggest issues. And, um, you know, the tools, the self-regulation tools are important for that and um, just general nervous system regulation, but absolutely you can retrain that. And I do talk about that a little more in, in the other programs. Um, absolutely possible to recover from that. Uh, as a background as a physical therapist, I worked with it as well. And a lot of it is getting what I call your pumping mechanisms back up um, regulated. And I talk about that in my somatic um, course in creating calm, the third class is on somatics and restoring our uh, movement capacity and our what I call our pumping mechanisms of our body to regulate and coordinate blood flow and uh, muscle relaxation and tension. And um, there's a lot of different strategies I use for that, but you can absolutely retrain it. Um, okay, this is a good question. There is a part of the course called divine neutrality. Are you supportive of having a Christian relationship centered around God? Thank you. Yes. So I have a lot of Christians in my primal trust. And actually, are any of them here in the group? today. I don't know. I have a background of Christianity. I, um, yeah, so, uh, I try to make all of my work, um, multifaceted and to be approachable for, for all. So when I use the word divine neutrality, that's the part of source that's able to love everything and whatever that is and whoever that is for you, you can substitute that name. Um, when I do my brain rewiring attunements, I have people connect to what I call, their higher self, their super conscious self, the different Christians in the group will call it the Holy Spirit. You can rename things and work them with the different backgrounds. I've got lots of different faiths from people from all over the world. So I have to keep things pretty universal, but I do use language that I think substitutes really well. Um, there's a very strong Christian group that took my work and they've renamed and reconfigured lots of things in a way that really works for them. So I could plug you into that particular um, that group if that's what you're interested in but I try to keep it like universal principles so that everyone can benefit and let me know John if that answers your question I'm going to move on but you can chat it um okay so have you found any elements in brain retraining that propels healing forward I guess I was intrigued by your post on Instagram regarding finding purpose and how that moves healing forward faster so it's a really good question I address this in primal trust one of the big issues that I see is that people don't really know what they are rewiring their brain towards. And I see a lot of random visualizations taking people in an elevated emotional state, but in a lot of different directions. And in my own experience, once I got specific of what my personal values are, my particular um, myself, I was able to rewire my brain in a direction rather than just happy hormones that didn't really take me anywhere. Um, Joe Dispenza's work talks up quite a bit about this being specific, a clear intention and elevated emotion. Now that often requires that you come to really know who you are. And that's what I talk about a lot in the primal trust mentorship. Who are you really? Who, what is that adult main personality um, in you? Who is your true self? What do you truly love? And, and that specificity of your values and your, um, your goals are what you're trying to carve your neural pathways to focus on, and that will propel you forward faster because it's in alignment with you rather than in alignment with someone else's vision and goal, which isn't you, and it will feel incoherent into in your body in some way because it's not your truth. Um, okay, next question. In your experience, do people need to consciously know what childhood traumas are? No. Um, no, you don't need to consciously know. Or does the body often show you what the traumas were in real time? Yeah. Traumas people think they need to know what the memories are of the trauma. You don't. Your body has a particular response in life in the present moment that is somatic. And that's, uh, that's your indicator that you're having what I would call a memory flashback, even if you don't remember. So once you get into work like somatic experiencing or parts work, et cetera, I don't really believe that the memory is important, although it may come up and you, it, you may have an insight from that. But it's not necessary. It's just getting really in touch with the body and understanding the body's messaging and learning how to, while the body is having a trauma response at the same time, engaging a brain state of a healthy adult main personality that can hold space for the body and a brain state that's like, 
I'm okay right here, right now in the present moment, even though the body is having a flashback of that time. And that juxtaposition of I'm okay right here, right now, along with the body and trauma is what helps to dissolve and resolve that trauma pathway. So it's this paradox that you, you learn how to practice holding uh, somatic presence while the body is feeling uncomfortable. Now you may use brain retraining practices to help get you there. The brain retraining practices are going to elevate your emotional state, calm down the limbic system, then your ability to hold space for the body is going to be improved. Okay, good question. Okay, I've been doing DNRS for a year. I keep seeking and seeking and I realize it's because I don't have an inner self-trust. Yeah, I had the same thing. My issue is dystonia. Um, I have no life. Have you worked with this? Can Primal Trust help to recover this? Yeah, so... Um, dystonia, uh, you know, is basically neurological misfiring. The neurology, if there is an influence in the brainstem because of trauma, absolutely, I think that this work can help it. Now, there are certain degenerative issues, and they're different, you know, there are there are different pathway. And, you know, that's a whole different focus point. But neurological dystonia, that is, uh, and I've seen this happen with people as a trauma response in the body. It's, needing a reset in the brainstem. And so you can, you know, with lots of different tools, whether it's brain retraining, somatic work, um, that sort of thing, get the brainstem to calm down, which will improve the electrical firing pattern from a structure called your thalamus that regulates the electrical firing pattern in the brain and may um, improve the dystonia. Um, Elizabeth, when is the next primal trust? Good question. <laughs> So I wanted to start it in um, end of September. And what happened was I was supposed to move early this summer and that move just happened two days ago. So my whole summer has been delayed. I'm hoping that I can get it going by end of October. I'm trying to complete, I'm doing a whole new um, self-regulation neuroplasticity program that's going to release this fall. I'm trying to get that done before I launch Primal Trust. Um, and so that's my goal. I will give you guys exact dates. If you are in a hurry, I would say do the recorded version because for those who've done the recorded version, there's another, um, you would be able to join the live version at a discount um, where I have a community called Living Alchemy. That is a post primal trust uh, group that we just, that's my community um, doing tools that I love and having conversations I love. And in that community, for those that are there in the standard membership rate, they will get access to the new live primal trust. So there's a way for you to kind of get into that if you don't want to wait. Um, so Heather, I guess you're familiar with how to do brain retraining for people who have TBI, Lyme, POTS, insomnia. Is there ever a time when the program is not appropriate? Do you offer any scholarships? Okay, so, um, you know, I think that Brain retraining is, it's something I still do every day. I don't know why it wouldn't be appropriate unless you are doing it to, um, to dissociate from things. And I see some people do it in that way. But if you're doing brain retraining, just like Joe Dispenza's work every day, like creating your day, what do you love? What do you want to focus on? You're resetting your subconscious filter in life when you're doing a brain retraining process. Like, how do I want to see the world? How do I want to see my family? There's never a reason not to do that, in my opinion. Um, now, you know, getting into the body, that sometimes is a, people need to do brain retraining for a little bit of time before they can go into somatic work. And I have a YouTube video called uh, Trauma Healing and Sequencing that describes that algorithm. And I talk about it quite a bit in the Primal Trust Mentorship. Do I offer any scholarships? Well, I do do free giveaways from time to time. And I have my recorded price is greatly discounted from the live for those people. And I have people, um, I have a monthly payment plan right now for that. Um, Anna, thank you. <laughs> Laura, thank you. So, all right, I have went through these questions in 20 minutes. What else you guys got? <laughs> Any other questions here? How much is the live mentorship? I'm still working on that price because I'm going to be increasing the live mentorship length. It was um, nine classes over 12 weeks. 
I'm now going to make the mentorship probably over 18 weeks. I'm going to be adding um, an experiential class, nine more experiential classes to go along with each module. So it's going to be quite a bit more material. Um, and I'm going to have a couple different tiers. So I'll have a tier where you can go through the live mentorship um, through the uh, 18 weeks, probably somewhere between 1250 and 1500. It was at about a thousand. So I'm increasing that a little bit because it's six weeks longer, a um, lot more work. And then I'm going to have a group that they want to go through each class and kind of a, a small group mentoring with me, a higher tier where um, basically they would have kind of a private study group for me option. So I have no idea what that'll be. Yeah, I just need to see how much time I'm going to be allotting for that. The recorded mentorship in this new version, um, that price will be increasing as well because I'm going to add a live Q&A um, every other week to the recorded version. So the, the material, if you want it now at the best price, I would get it at uh, this recorded rate because that will go up because I'm going to be adding you know nine more classes to that as well just to give people more, um, more time with me. Um, Someone says, I don't know where to begin, creating Calm or Primal Trust or one-on-one. -on -one. So I always tell everybody they need a toolkit. And whether that's my program or someone else's, it doesn't really matter to me, but you need a toolkit. Creating Calm is a toolkit. The toolkit is important because in Primal Trust, you learn how to use that toolkit properly. I have tools for brain retraining, vagus nerve uh, um, regulation, somatics, energy medicine. So it's just, it's got a lot of tools. There are a lot of programs that are great toolkits, so it doesn't need to be mine. I'm not, um, you know, I absolutely encourage whatever program works for you. And I love all of them. I'm happy to talk about different ones. So I would say the toolkit to start off with and be practicing them and getting into the habit of using the tools for self-regulation, 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 self-regulation. From there, primal trust is a bit of a journey. It's really about reclaiming, you know, this invulnerability, this uh, imperturbability where you know, you're just not um, scared by life anymore. And that's, that's a journey, but you need the toolkit to go on the journey. So I would say whatever toolkit um, fits you. Maria says, when is the price going up? When I launch the next Primal Trust Mentorship, which probably will be in October. Um, and will I have access to the Christian group if I do record it? Yeah, I can get you in touch with them. Um, there is a handful of, uh, yeah, we, there's a forum that's part of the Primal Trust Mentorship. In that forum, I can get you in touch with the different groups. We also have um, different support groups in the Primal Trust on, on an app called the Signal app, which is similar to WhatsApp, where people meet up to do their practices together. They meet up to rewatch my classes together. So it's, um, you know, and, and even a whole group of them are now uh, taking the mentorship all over again in small groups, which is really great because the mentorship, the Primal Trust mentorship, it's a roadmap. It's a roadmap that incorporates so many different aspects of the healing process into one big journey. And it's a roadmap that I went on and that I keep taking myself through again and again, because our healing, it's not you know, from here to here, it's this spiral type, type journey, all right? You go through primal trust, you learn how to regulate, you learn how to find yourself getting back out in the world. Now you're out in the world and you kind of need to you deepen and deepen and it's a it's a process that I've created that you can do again and again deeper and deeper every mentorship I take it myself through it and every mentorship I get even more of my own alignment my own resiliency and my own vitality back so um John says I've been doing DNRS for two years would primal trust be more appropriate or creating calm Pri primal trust at this point you've got enough uh, understanding of tools now creating calm does have um other things like vagus nerve retraining and somatics. Um, and, this, uh, and, and those are great tools if you have no um, background with them as well. Um, the other thing is those that do my primal trust mentorship and that do end up joining Living Alchemy, which is an ongoing donation-based community, Creating Calm is one of the courses they have access to at the standard rate. So there are different ways of getting that. But um, yeah, the Creating Calm course, uh, it does have some extra things that you don't get in DNRS and people tend to love it. And like I said, I'm going to come out with a new one and you will, those who purchase this old one will either have option for a discounted version and I'll even have options to get it for free with um, friend referral, things like that. So, um, and it's going to be pretty affordable. I'm going to try to make the most affordable toolkit out there to just 
get these tools in the world. So what else? These are great questions. Um, does the recorded version of Primal Trust have access to living alchemy? Everyone who has done Primal Trust can choose to become part of the living alchemy community. Um, in fact, one of the other mentors is here with us today, Felgeny is here. We have several different mentors that are teaching different things. We have um, somatic classes, we have myofascial release, Felgeny teaches a bunch of different classes, dance, belief work, tech work. I have me doing mentoring. Um, we have a whole bunch of new mentors coming in. Um, Tessa from DNRS is one of the new guides. I've got a couple other brain retraining coaches. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. And um, the way it works is once you've gotten through class seven of Primal Trust, you're welcome to come on in that. And I usually have you wait until then because there's so many pieces that's important for you to understand um, just to have the languaging understood once you get into living alchemy. And so, uh, yes, you're able to join um, after class seven. Yeah. What else? What other questions do you have about programs in general, healing process in general, my work in general? We have... Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh. Anybody, anything to say here? I'm happy to answer any of your specific questions that you're dealing with, wanting to know, does the program help with anxiety? So the point of the program, well, Creating Calm has a lot of tools to help you reset the limbic response in the brain, which is going to help with anxiety. Primal Trust is about getting you to this point where let's say a part of you feels anxiety, you've got a brain state that you have access to that is totally okay, even though a part of you might feel anxiety. That's primal trust, this adult main personality that's like free, even though parts of your brain state are, you know, having problems. Um, I, I'd love to have someone who's taken primal trust speak a little bit. Yeah, can, can I? May yes, I? Please. I already came up here. I just wanted to say something. Um, in one of the earlier classes, you said, like, you might still have all these symptoms and this, but you would not care about it. And I'm like, that's not possible. Like, that's just not possible. And I remember you told us in one of the first to second class that this is like the most talk about symptoms like you've had. And it was amazing to me to see how we all shifted that, you know, we really don't care about the symptoms anymore. And when they're there, we kind of know what to do and, and how to support ourselves. And now that we're going through the, the, the watch part, the, the, we are redoing the mentorship in small groups. Uh, it's like all of us make the comment that like, I can't believe that was us then. Look where we are now. And um, like, even um, I've always asked a lot of questions and I'm like, even asking my questions, like, did I really ask those questions? <laughs> I can't believe that. So there's definitely an incredible amount of growth. The, the mentorship is not what you think it is. Whatever you think it is, it's gonna be not that. It's gonna be more. <laughs> Um, yeah, and um, I, I just, I'm one of the best things I've ever done. I wish I had done the first group, honestly. I've done the second group, oh. but I don't know if there's anybody else here who has done it, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's life changing, it's absolutely life changing. Oh, Anna, it was, it was a pleasure to watch you birth an adult main personality, and yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's uh, growing every day, she's growing. That is so cool. And that's, and Anna just said it. So what is primal trust? It's where you don't care that there are symptoms, like they're just body responses, they're memory structures, they're rehearsed states. So most people get into this work because they want their symptoms to go away, right? You do all your tools, get the symptoms to go away. And I take you on this quantum leap. What if the symptoms were there and you chose to go live and you got into this brain state that let you do that. And they're like, no, I want the symptoms to go away. Like you don't understand. It's this, it's this yeah. primal trust. 
that happens that allows you to live. And then what happens ironically is that as you do live, your symptoms do shift, but your whole personality is a different person. You're you're resilient, you're capable, you're imperturbable, and that's freedom. It's not about getting your symptoms away. That's what I'm trying to do in this whole community is shift the chronic yeah. illness, chronic trauma, entire paradigm, because it's possible. I did it for me. I've seen a lot of you guys do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think somebody just posted a question about um, chronic pain. And I remember one of mine was, but what about 24 seven hits? Like I have all these 24 seven hits, like how do, how do I not notice them? And um, I don't, and there some days are better than others, but I really don't care. I have a life to live now. And um, the, the symptoms are decreasing. They are diminishing. There's a lot more openings because I am living my life rather than working. So no, I, I still have the symptoms and I know everybody wants to know that's what people, that's what I would have wanted to know, right? If I were um, like asking questions. Um, but my relationship to, relationship to them changed to where they no longer define me. And I know that over time they will continue to diminish. And some of the big ones have, um, you know, 80% better gone away or don't always show up. Um, and when they do, you kind of know, it, you just develop a different relationship with, when you become who you really are, your relationship with the world, including your inner world, including your symptoms changes. Mm -hmm. And whatever it is, whatever you'll have is, is, you know, challenging. I mean, I'm right there, right? But it's something shifts, something changes, your brain states changes, and you are no longer defined by it. It's not your story anymore. Mm -hmm. That is so well said. You're no longer defined by it. Your whole identity and ego structure shift off from body consciousness and focus to true self-focus. Someone asked, is this the same as pushing through your symptoms? It's not because you're not pushing against anything. You're actually doing exactly what you want to do. When you push against symptoms, it's because you're going and doing something that you're afraid to do and there's all this resistance. It's a, it's a, just a, it's hard to explain it. It's a quantum leap. It's a conscious thing where it's kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe it best other than to say that it's the difference between feeling like, let's say it's almost like you're living, but like the wind is blowing on your face and you can feel the wind, but you're out there living. It doesn't matter. There's no pushing involved. There's just something that you notice in your body. That it, and because of that, over time, your limbic system starts to develop trust that these symptoms aren't a threat because you're still living and you don't care. And then it settles down over time. It settles down over time. It's not about getting rid of the symptoms so that you can go live. It's learning how to raise your consciousness so that you can go live with or without the symptoms and letting the symptoms resolve themselves as they will. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. That was really, really great. Um, and I really loved witnessing her journey. Let me ask real quick, the primal trust, the program is, you said six weeks. I, I didn't catch that. It's, it's added on six weeks. Added on six weeks. It was 12 weeks. I'm going to be moving it a little longer because people, most people wanted it to be um, a little longer and a, a little, a little more pacing in between the class where we could have each class so we could have more practice time. It's a lot. I mean, I'm lifting your entire mindset out of yourself. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make it a little longer. And then, so the 18 weeks, but they meet week, we meet, we would meet we meet weekly. Week. Yeah. So people become, that's the thing with me is that I've lost community. Like I've lost, I've become stuck in this little shell. And I think that's a lot of my emotional state because I, and, and, and okay. And with what's going on in the world too, but that community, and I'm like, I want to connect with others too that are going through the same thing. And it's really hard for me to reach out and connect. So I would love a class where I can connect with other people. Can I, can I answer yeah. that? Sure. You absolutely should, you must. This is the most incredible community. Um, I'm stealing this quote from Dr. Cat. It's become like a mantra for a lot of us. Together we rise, together we fly. And that's what the, the, one of the groups we have uh, where we get together, we're called Butterflies Emerging and that's our mantra. Uh, and um, you cannot walk this journey alone. You just cannot. With no matter how good Dr. Cat is, 
you've got to have this group, you've got to have the community, you've got to get yeah. together um, weekly. Um, we actually started doing the study group while we were still doing the mentorship. So we can um, like deepen the knowledge, right? Deepen right. The, the feel it, the study, the, to create, to get clarifications, to work on it together. And we're continuing to do that. And we're going to continue doing that for, I don't know, there's no end in sight, but the community that you find a lot of healing comes, a lot of transformation comes from being part of the community, not, not just as a participant, but as a contributor. So yeah, that's what that's one of the things that pulls you out of, oh my gosh, but I have all these symptoms, I can't do this. Uh, well, um, you can, <laughs> as, as you learn, because you get drawn into something so that's stronger than your limbic pool. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the community is, I'm, I'm a big, huge fan of the community. I don't know what I would do without it. Um, as a matter of fact, our study group is right after this, uh, our weekly study group. We're going to journal together. We're going to, whatever is on the menu for that day. So we're going to do something. So definitely you guys will get an amazing community. Um, living, I haven't yet joined Living Alchemy. I'm going to in a few weeks, but uh, Living Alchemy is definitely there. But there's also each other that's there. There's, you know, on Signal, as Dr. Kat said, we can record, um, there's recorded practices, there's body practices, there are study groups. I, I don't think, I don't know what else is there, but those are probably the main things. So yeah, you, you're going to have, you're going to have the community for sure. Okay. So, but, so the study groups, so the, you said study groups. So you, you got from Primal Trust, this mentorship, you guys go out into we, different study groups. We organized ourselves. Yes. We have two different study groups going on in different days that so people can attend both or one of them, whatever they want to. I, I wish we could have another one for more uh, for different time zones. We have people from Australia that we, we actually record our study group so that one person can watch because she can't attend because of the time difference. Okay. So it's, it's a community guys. It really is a community. And then Dr. Kat, you're part of that study group or no? I'm not part of that study group. I'm leading and co-leading Living Alchemy and Felgeny here as well. So I've kind of, my study group right now is Living Alchemy um, and I'm busy with that. And these guys will fold in and out of Living Alchemy. But yeah, I have, I mean, it's all about community. It's all right. about purpose. It's all about being pulled out of this hell of our body into something that matters more. Right. And that's the game that we're playing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And so October, the end of October. End of October is where I'm at right now. Yeah. yeah. And then creating calm, you said, and I missed it because I had to walk away for a minute, but you said creating calm would be, it's a tool. It's a, just an, an, another it's tool. A, it's a lot of tools. It's a big toolkit where I hit all of the things that I think are important because in my opinion, it's not just brain retraining. And um, actually somebody asked, what's the difference between creating calm and vital side? Vital side is, um, it's a brain retraining program. I think it's great. And uh, the difference is creating calm uh, hits vagus nerve retraining, um, which is polyvagal stuff, somatic retraining, energy medicine. So it's just, it's, it's got a few more things, but vital side is more of a deeper dive into the brain retraining world, kind of like DNRS and she's got her own support system. And I think people love it. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a brain retraining toolkit. Um, and yeah, let's see what else. Um, there's no difference between the recorded and the live other than the live had a live Q and A that wasn't part of the recorded. Um, obviously they had live me and in this next round, the live will have, uh, an option for an implementation experiential session with me that won't be part of the recorded. All the material is the same, the form is the same, all of that. So yeah, um, let's see here, the recorded mentorship. Um, so the recorded, there is nine core lessons and then supplemental videos. But um, I usually say, you know, space it into about 12 weeks, but you can do it in longer if you want. So, um, so which program did you encourage us before it's upgraded uh, was the name of that. Um, so the Primal Trust mentorship is going to be longer. It's still gonna be the Primal Trust mentorship, but the pricing will change because I'm gonna make it 
bigger. <laughs> so the recorded version will be the same material. I probably will, you know, every time I teach it, I'm basically channeling and intuiting. And so it may change a little bit, but it's generally going to be the same material, same slides. Uh, some things will shift a little bit. Um, I might be adding, I might be adding a couple of new things to this live. I might be adding a little bit more of somatic presencing um, experience, like somatic experiencing type stuff that wasn't part of the last one because people wanted more somatic understanding. Um, and then, like I said, it's going to be, I'm going to have um, experiential small group mentoring sessions in addition to the, the class instruction. Um, Someone asked if you join Creating Calm Now, you receive the new one free. Um, so what I mean is if you join Creating Calm Now, those that already have it, I will have either discounts to upgrade it or I'll have options to do like referrals for a free upgrade. So I'll find ways to, it will be, you know, it's, it's, it is gonna be different as well as the, the one. So it's, um, I'm not gonna just substitute it because it's kind of a, a whole different course. Um, but I will have options for, for free upgrade and for discount upgrade. Um, okay, it says website free. Yeah, I might wanna change that, thank you. Um, uh, did you mention the time frame? as far as you'll know? So for Primal Trust, we meet every week. Um, I usually do it in the morning, somewhere between nine, it'll probably be somewhere between around 9 a.m. Pacific. Um, and we'll be meeting weekly. There might be in the small group that choose to do mentoring with me, we'll meet twice a week, every other week. And then once a week, every other week for the, it'll be instruction, maybe Tuesday, small group mentoring on Thursday. And then the following week will be a Q and A for that instruction. And then we'll go to the next week, new instruction, new implementation session, new Q and A. So that's it. That's kind of how it will be. I'll get all the details on the website and send that out to you guys soon as I get that figured out. Um, I'm probably missing some of these questions. I'm sorry if I have. Um, all right, any other questions that I'm missing? I have a quick question. Sure. Um, so the, the signal group is also in the recorded primal membership? Yep, yep, it is. Yep, it's all part of the same thing trying to link you guys up as best I can in as many ways as I can, because I know how important that is. So yeah. yeah. Perfect. And then the, the tools that you will learn in Calm, uh, that that's already included in the Primal Trust. Like Primal Trust includes all those tools plus the additional no, somatic um, or... No, Primal Trust is, it's pretty intensive and it's, I, not all of them, there are some. So the big ones, yes, but all of creating calm, no. So we will, in Primal Trust, you will get the brain retraining practice. You'll get my basic, a couple of basic somatic practices. Um, I often talk about uh, like heart coherence practices. So you are going to, I do weave my favorite go-tos in Primal Trust, but creating calm is like a really big toolkit that um, I don't repeat all of that for, for Primal Trust. So yeah. Okay. And do you think if you haven't really done other brain training, what you, uh, sh you know, what you will share in the problem trust will be enough? Yeah. Or is it I mean, that my, you also have to? No, my brain retraining program in primal trust is a standalone. People sometimes choose to replace it with mine. Sometimes they go back and forth, but I do have my, it's a standalone process. So you, you will get that in primal trust. Um, you can easily adapt what I do to ones that you already like. I, um, I make them interchangeable pretty well as well for those of you who already have one that you love. So, and okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. So uh, just one last thing, just to make sure I got it right. So, uh, so then if I just do the primal trust, I will have all the tools I need. I don't need to also do the calm in addition, like it will be no, just fine. No, it should be sufficient. Now, some okay. people with like serious neurological symptoms like to have, I mean, cause I go through a lot of polyvagal stuff and they like, they, they kind of certain personalities like to have a lot of different tools to manage their stuff. And so creating calm can be really nice for them in that way. Um, but it's not necessary. You just need certain um, committed self-regulation tools that I uh, give you what I think they 
the ones that I love in Primal Trust, and I just need you to commit to some of them throughout the process. So, okay, okay, that that helps to know because I haven't done so many brain retraining. I did the DNRS, but that's mm-hmm. really the only one, mm-hmm. and so I just wanted to make sure that you know yeah. that it was fine if I just the Primal Trust and not, yeah. you know, I need to do both. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yep. So yeah, right now the meetings will probably be held mostly in the mornings. I might make an afternoon, depending on how many people sign up, I may break it up into two. So we'll just see how, how it goes with the signups. Um, someone asked, what do we get on a one-to-one session? So my one-to-one sessions, um, you know, one of my gifts is to really see patterns that people are stuck in. I really see personality parts that are holding people in their identity patterns and I'm pretty good at recognizing that. So we kind of go through what patterns you're getting stuck in. I often also help you to develop a customized um, plan for you. And then I always, if they want, do what I what is called a customized brain rewiring attunement, which is kind of my secret sauce special thing that I do um, both in the mentorship and with people privately, where we're working on your specific memory structures that are running your limbic system and helping to uh, remodel those in certain ways so that the limbic system response can calm down. Um, Yeah, so that's what I do with my one-on-ones. Does program help overcome pervasive fear? Well, yeah, I think the whole idea of primal trust is that you develop an entirely new relationship with fear because you realize that it's actually coming from a memory structure that's on replay. And um, therefore you you start to develop a consciousness that sees fear um, as a response of the body, but not necessarily an accurate indicator of the current day reality. And when your consciousness can shift the past from the present, you're able to be and feel fear, but not be run by it. It's just, uh, it's like wind on your face. Like I said, it's just, oh, my body has fear running through it, but it's a memory structure that's in, it's, that's replaying that the, the, the meaning behind it isn't accurate in this present moment. So again, it's like a kind of a quantum consciousness shift that we, that we work on creating. I'm just gonna do a couple more minutes. Anything else here? I have uh, just to uh, double check on something. Uh, so, um, oh goodness, I just lost it. Hold on, I'll come back to me in a second. Um, uh, yes. So for for me, like I, I just kind of <laughs> want to get started. Like, uh, you know, I, I see that you have the recorded membership, uh, Primal Trust, and then you have the live. But that one won't be until October, November. And part of me is just like things that's just way too long to wait until that time I just want to get started and so um if I did the record it my understanding is I did the record it and then after the the seventh session I can go into the alchemy group and then at the same time I have signal that could be live and help me with that and then so pretty much really the difference then ends up being between the live and the the recorded is that the live will have, uh, like you said, like we can interact with you, uh, but uh, both have kind of like the main material is kind of like the same, you know? So like, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, part of me is like, I don't want to wait until two months. Like I want to start now, you know, to to change and 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 bring this transformation now. So I'm I'm just wondering if I understood that all correctly. Yeah. Um, yep. It's all the same. Some people just really prefer like their learning style is to have a live meetup class. And I'm like, fine, you should wait. But otherwise, if you're someone that can take yourself through, take yourself through material um, without an issue, uh, I think it would be fine. Yeah, because then you have the 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 group, right? Like with Signal and other things yeah. that you can have that live communication mm-hmm. with people and create community that way. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Okay. So just a, yeah, absolutely. I think either would work. Um, but, with okay. the, but with the recorded Dr. Cat, it's not, the, you don't have the study groups or you do. I'm sorry. You can, um, well, in the, they've already, so the recorded, you would maybe need to reorganize your own or with the signal app as you're meeting up with people to do practices, you can 
asked to join because they've already started, you know, from the live, but there are new people that are joining all the time with the recorded that can, you know, say, hey, let's meet up for a study group or when you get onto the signal app to do practices. That's kind of, you know, you can get on to practice anything. You can say, hey, can we practice class two, whatever, you know, and I'm sure somebody will, you know, want to respond. Um, like I said, there's a forum there and, um, you know, maybe, uh, yeah, it, yeah. So I think there's ways of figuring that out if you needed to do that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's tricky. I wish I had the live available for you guys right now, but I don't, <laughs> I've got some things I need to do, but I at least want to, you know, help give you guys some understanding. And hopefully this talk also just gives you an idea of the overall trajectory that I see out of chronic illness and trauma, that it's, it's, it's a whole shift where how could you start living? How could you start living anyway? Like truly, and I was bed bound, you know, I could argue with the best of you with how bad it was. I was very sick for many, many, many years. And I lived in a dark, quiet room for a while not able to do anything. And you start learning to live in very small ways. There's always a way to start living your purpose, even with your symptoms. And you start developing um, a personality that is interested in life, that's interested in life and not just recovery. And that seems very counterintuitive to a lot of you right now whose whole life is about healing, but you start finding a purpose in living again. And then that actually is what starts to run your body and move you out of the situation rather than you know treating the specific issue that you're dealing with so um i have a lot of free resources for those of you that don't know i have like a free three-day training on resiliency lots of free attunements on youtube lots of um uh, stuff on instagram lots of coaching on youtube i've got a free excerpt from primal trust class one where you can watch just a little bit of that um, if you go to my primal, the website primal trust, there's a sign up to watch part of class one. Um, you know, uh, there's probably something else that I'm blanking on. Yeah. So there are ways to kind of keep, you know, learning stuff for free here as well. Yeah. All right. I think I'm going to end there. Hopefully, um, you guys got your major questions answered and, um, sorry if I missed somebody, there was a lot in the chat. But I appreciate you all coming and I will be hosting these once a month so we can do this again next month. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, guys.